Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel, Smith Jack's Custom Baits. This is Rick Smith Jack again. I still was going to stop that, but I still have it. Uh, today we're going to be making a color, one of my house colors, called Blood Candy. And we're going to, and because I have new, new molds that I need to have pictures, uh, sample pictures up on the website, we're going to go ahead and shoot four new molds. Um, in, in the blood candy, it's three and a half inch swim or four and a half inch swim stick, um, a four inch drop shot, uh, a two and a half inch jerk, jerk bait, and a four inch uh, brush hog. So uh, we'll be showing you how we're going to make that here in just a few seconds. We'll have to check our plastic saw. We're already cooking that. Uh, but uh, I was I was lucky enough to uh, get in on one of Enforcer molds. Purges, and that's where he, he has stuff laying around his shop for whatever reason, and uh, he offers his stuff at, at steep discounts to the to the guys that uh, that participate on his message board. And so I got four. I got two two of the four inch single cavity four inch brush hogs, the six cavity two and a half inch jerk bait, and then uh, one three and a, uh, one three cavity four and a half inch swim stick. Uh, for, I think it was uh, 111 bucks shipped. That's a pretty good deal. That was, that's one of those deals that, that you just don't pass up. I wish I would have had more money to take advantage of more of the, more of the molds that he had available. But, you know what, it is what it is. Um, I need to go about, let's go 40 seconds, that should be about right. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of those uh, another purge in the future, add some more baits. Uh, we'll see. He has those from time to time. I'm not sure why he ends up with stuff sitting around like that, but he does. Uh, and fortunately for, for us, we, we get some really good deals on it. So, all right, we're almost there. Um, This blood candy color came about as a result of a of a color match contest on Facebook, in Facebook group. And this was that was the first one I joined. I didn't get a single vote because I didn't make it. I made it my version of blood candy, and that's not what they wanted. <laughs> they wanted me to match the colors that they posted, and I was I didn't do that. Ooh, so close, so close. We saw, I saw 347, I need to hit 350, so 15 seconds should just about do it. <laughs> Let's see here, all right. Okay, so check this. There we go. There we go. That's actually 373 I just saw. So I'm going to stir that just a little bit before I put the colorant in. The black will be okay. One drop of black. But it's the red. We don't want the red to burn or anything. Let's see here. Already down to 350. That's good enough. Alright. So for the blood candy, the primary color going in here is going to be Cherry Red Dye by Lunar Works. Um, if you guys order this blood candy or the cherry bomb for me, it uses this colorant. Um, and this colorant is made with a, it's a dye instead of a pigment. Dyes bleed. So if you order this for me, keep this separate from all your other soft plastics. Otherwise, they're going to end up red. <laughs> it's just the way that works. <coughs> I think that's the only bleeder I have left. I had a chartreuse that was a bleeder. Uh, one drop of black, there we go. But this is such a vibrant red. Oops, I'm just... 
knocked everything over, didn't I? There we go. This is such a vibrant red that I kept it. And we, I put that drop of black in there to darken it just a little bit. But if it's just by itself, this is a, with no black in it, this is a super bright red. Um, it's, really, it's really awesome looking. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now, now we need to put in some, some glitter. And because it has candy in the name, I went with two colors that are in watermelon candy. And that's the small purple that we just put in. And then the small green. And we're going with the brighter green as opposed to the to the darker moss green. Because that's what is in watermelon candy. But because it's blood candy, this is blood candy, we had to make it a little bit different. Well, we didn't have to. But you know. So the different part is this medium sized gold holographic. Let's go ahead and mix this in. had a couple of orders for this stuff and the guys just loved it so my even though this wasn't a hit in the Facebook group it sure seemed to be a hit with some with a couple of the customers and that's what I guess that's what really counts anyway isn't it all right let me check the temperature and we're about 12 and then warm this up just a little bit Get her up to around 320, 325. Let's go. Let's just do 15 seconds and see what happens. It doesn't have to get too much hotter. Uh, that's still pretty warm. I have to wear both gloves. I have, I have, a, I have a small selection of this color and the, and the cherry bomb in my tackle box. We'll see how it works out over at Quincy Reservoir here in a couple of weeks. Oh, this is good. This is good. All right, let me get my other glove on. There we go. Let's see. Uh, hmm. That was the that was the drop shot. This one is the the swim stick pressure there. Okay, next we'll do the swim bait, that is the jerk bait, excuse me. And lastly, the brush hog. Alright. Go ahead and top off if we need to. Right here, a little bit here. There we go. I really like these molds from Enforcer. It's getting to the point where I just about have as many enforcer molds as I do everybody else's molds combined. <laughs> Which the guy from Enforcer says that's the way it should be. You know? <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is now let's go sit that over there. I have a I used to put all my remelt in plastic bags, uh, ziplock bags, and now I've started putting them in these containers like this that I got from uh, from the Dollar Tree. I go in there and I get, I get some larger square, uh, square ones like this and some of these I spend 20 bucks and get a total of 40 containers. And uh, so far it's helping out a lot. It's, it's a really nice way to um, to make sure that I don't end up with like five different plastic bags that have say Party Animal Joe in them. I don't know why I use that one as an example. <laughs> I don't think I had five bags, but I had three. I had three or four that party animals showing. I'm like, what the frick? So I had to come up with something different. 
and that's what I did was was uh, was put them in those containers. I label them. Um, I just need some dedicated shelves for them now. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and open this. Should be should be uh, should be ready. Okay. Those molds are still pretty freaking warm. I, I preheated all the molds in front of the torpedo heater. Uh, it was like 35 or 34, 35 degrees in here when it came out here today. So, oh, there we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, next one. Let's open this up. There we go. Pull these out of the mold. You can see that some of these are well, actually three of them. There's only cavities on one side of the sprue. Now, here's an idea for guys that like to hang their baits. I don't know what you what you guys do with these when you have cavities on both sides of the sprue, but this is what I do. I just cut the sprue in half lengthwise like this. And now I can go hang these baits over there on the pegboard just like this, and they hang just fine. They look fine, they, 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 they hang straight. Um, whereas if you didn't cut this screw in half lengthwise, they'd be hanging like this. Everybody would be hanging like, like this, and, and, and the base wouldn't hang straight, and it wouldn't cure properly. Oh, crap, I dropped them. Okay. That's all right, they're, they're fine. I'm gonna put one over here. One of each of these baits over here for pictures for later. And I need to I need to remember to snip the gates off these uh, off these enforcer baits. There you go. Because they don't some of these molds they come off uh, uh, they come with the gate the way it should be. Um, and other ones come with the gate um, a little extended. And I'm not sure why he did that, but he is slowly going through his his molds and fixing that. So that when you pull it off, it's not that little extra bit on the nose of your bait. Um, I'm just gonna leave those here for now. Um, then these, these here, these look fantastic. Look at that. This drop shot mold, perfect, again. Put these guys over here. Now I'm gonna pull one off and put it over here for, for pictures. Okay, there you go. But as me very, be very careful that I don't let that one touch any of the other ones. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be red tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, here's the swim stick. The feet on those all came out real nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these off. and set it over here. Now I wasn't kidding about them being red tomorrow morning either. It does not take long for those for that red color to reach out into the other baits. And here's the here's the brush hog. Okay. Again, that that this bait, she's fantastic, just like all of this. Uh, we'll put that in there. Let's put this over here. Again, we gotta make sure we don't touch anybody else. Oops. There we go. Okay, we're not touching anybody else. All right, there we go. Well, that's our that's our colored blood candy. Um, we just got a little bit of the backstory on how it became, how this color came to be for us. And uh, we also got to see some new molds that we have. Um, one thing I've done in the past is to, is to buy just a single mold, whether it's just one cavity or it's five, whatever, four or five, um, and see how well the bait sells before I add more cavities to that. Uh, like, uh, well, except for this, this drop shot, I already had a bunch of these going out the door when I bought the mold. <laughs> uh, I actually bought two molds, so I can shoot a whole I can shoot a whole bag of these. But um, uh, this one here, if it's a seller, I'll buy more I'll buy more molds, and add more cavities, so that I can shoot a whole bag of baits at a time. Uh, that makes a huge difference when you're making stuff. How long it takes you to make it is whether or not you can shoot a bag at a time. Uh, the frogs that we have, the three and a half inch frogs. Uh, there's six per bag, and I have two single cavity molds. We hope to rectify that soon. <laughs> so, but that's just an example. Uh, 
But anyway, uh, until next time, if you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, so you get notifications that when we put new videos. Um, and as always, do you like your mom said, share. All our moms taught us to share. So go ahead and share with everybody, even the people you don't like. Maybe they'll like this. Yeah. You'd be doing them a favor, right? And go check us out at scbates.com. Uh, until next time, tight lines and calm waters.